Welcome to this session where uh, we're going to be talking about MyCandleCharts.com. My name is Paul. Joining me here is Steve Nissen, CEO and founder of CandleCharts.com. We're here tonight to talk about our membership site called MyCandleCharts.com. So the format of today's session will be, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what the site is and what it includes. And then we're going to have Steve come in and actually analyze a few charts the way we typically do with our daily market recaps and strategy sessions and things like that. So I'll be talking, Steve's gonna come in, uh, do a couple of markets. I'm gonna come back in and tell you about some other great things about what the membership site includes. Steve's gonna come back in and do even more markets. And then I'm gonna talk to you about how you can also become a member yourself. So before we get going, I do have to show our disclosure. Uh, you're more than welcome to read the whole thing if you'd like. It's at candlecharts.com slash disclosure. Essentially, I always like to tell people uh, there is certainly risk involved in trading, but I also believe that there's risk involved in not trading. So anytime you take on risk, there's potential reward. And if you don't want potential reward, you're not gonna take on any risk. So you're more than welcome to read that whole thing at candlecharts.com slash disclosure. So let me tell you real quick what my candle charts is really all about. We decided to put the site together years ago, and it's had many modifications over the years, where we have helped students from around the globe gain confidence, gain guidance, gain strategies, gain ideas in how to handle various financial markets. And what you see here in front of you are our standard sessions that we do on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to walk you through what each one of these things are. Then I'm going to hand it to Steve, where Steve is going to go over a couple of major markets that we typically do. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of the other bonus items that you as a member would be able to have access to. And then Steve's going to do even more markets uh, and things like that. If you do have questions, by all means, type those in. I'd be happy to answer those as well. So here at mycandlecharts.com, you'll see a whole list of sessions here on the left that we that have that occur on a regular basis and then over here on the right are other things <clears throat> special topics and resources that I will be getting into so right now what I'd like to talk about is our regularly scheduled sessions what they are and how they would be able to help you so each week we post a calendar typically we try to stick to a roughly the same idea, same schedule each week. The chart of the day, and I'm not gonna play these for you, but as you can see, we keep not only the current, most current one up here, but we also keep a few extra sessions available depending on which session it is. Let me tell you what chart of the day is. Chart of the day, and I'm not gonna play this for you, it's where our team will go over a chart of the day. Literally, that's what it is. It's not a trade that we're doing. It is more of an educational piece, teaching you something each and every day. This is a video that we post every day, Monday through Friday by 8 a.m. Eastern time. That's New York time. Why is this important? It's because you're going to learn the nuances of how to utilize candles in your trading and investing. OK, it's really important that you stay current and that you keep up to date. And again, chart of the day is going to provide you with a little piece of education. Trade setup of the day. And this is one of our very popular sessions that we get each day. Again, a video posted Monday through Friday by 8 a.m. Eastern time where we're talking about a trade potential for that day. Doesn't mean that we're actually going to trade it every day. If it doesn't hit the criteria, then we certainly would not. But there would be reasons why you would enter that trade, reasons and locations of entry, as well as locations for exits. Now, the markets will rotate. Sometimes it'll be a stock. Sometimes it'll be an ETF. Sometimes it'll be a cryptocurrency. Sometimes it'll be a Forex pair. It could be an option trade. It could be any number of things. And again, they are suggestions, trade setups. Doesn't mean you have to follow them. We always get the question, how reliable are they? How consistent are they? And everybody's different. Some people take advantage of them, some people don't. But I can tell you over the course of years, these things do quite well. 
they pertain to various types of markets, various types of uh, levels of risk and reward ratios, but it's going to provide you with ideas, how to look at charts, how to be more prepared going into that trading day. The daily market recap is one of our most popular sessions. This is where every day, Monday through Friday, we host a live session inside of our chart room where you can attend live. Now, we have students in 85 different countries, as I said before. Most people do not watch the sessions live, but we do record everything that we do inside of my candle chart so that you can come back in and watch it shortly after the session is complete. The daily market recap consists of about 10 to 14 major markets. Uh, and what you're going to want to be able to do is understand the analysis. As you can see, each one is roughly 12 to 15 minutes in length. It's going to hit those major markets, things like the S&P, gold, crude, a couple of major Forex pairs, Bitcoin, which is very popular. Uh, we've been recently getting a lot of requests for the Nifty index in India. Uh, you know, and various other items. The daily market recap again, every day, Monday through Friday, major markets. And Steve is actually gonna be giving you an example of that here just in a couple of minutes where he's gonna go over a couple of the major markets. Strategy session. This is where students can request a market to be analyzed by our team. I can tell you what this is gonna do, it's gonna add confidence for you. It's gonna add guidance in a market that you can request yourself. So every member of my candle charts will get an email. We host the strategy sessions every Monday and every Thursday, we do them live. So you can reply to that email, even if you cannot attend live, you can submit your request and go in and watch the recording after it's done. The sessions can be, uh, eight minutes long, 12 minutes long, 15 minutes long, 20 minutes long, depending on the number of requests that we receive. <clears throat> so what I'd like to do at this point, if you're in the room live and you'd like to have Steve analyze a market, please go into the chat area, the question area of GoToWebinar here and type in the symbol of a market instrument that you would like Steve to analyze. I can tell you that when I started working for Steve years ago, I would ask Steve to look at charts for me all the time. This is your opportunity if you put in a request that potentially Steve would analyze your chart. So all you have to do inside of GoToWebinar is just type in the symbol of what you would like to see analyzed. <clears throat> and I know there are people out there that would like to do this. Just type in your symbol. While, uh, while you're thinking about what symbol to type in, I will move on. Every Wednesday, we do an options outlook. Thank you, Kat. Kat's put in her first request, and I know there's other, I see other people typing. <clears throat> uh, every Wednesday, we do an options outlook. This is really fun for those people that are trading options or even those people that would like to trade options but are looking to learn. So we teach every Wednesday in a live session. Again, it's recorded and posted. <clears throat> and We'll go over option strategies, looking at specific markets and going over the things that you need to know in options. Every Sunday, we post what's called a casual trader session for those people that cannot attend live or watch the markets during the week. This is a video of something to look forward to for the upcoming week. That's the casual trader. Chart challenge, and I'm going to move a little bit quicker because I want Steve to be able to jump in here soon and do a few markets. Chart challenge, every week we post a video of a chart challenge, so that way you can test your knowledge, make sure you understand candles, and why is that important? We don't care if you get the question right or wrong. We want you to understand it so that you can utilize that information while you look at charts and the heat of the battle while you're out there trading. Every week on Tuesday, we just had one earlier today, a Forex session where we go deeper into Forex pairs. So those of you that are trading Forex and based on some of the feedback I'm, I'm seeing of what people are requesting to be analyzed, every Tuesday we do basically a daily recap, but go into a much more depth into different Forex pairs. Every week we post a video on an international recap where we go over 
various international indexes. <clears throat> Every Friday after the daily recap, we go over a weekly market recap where we go through uh, a longer term view. So what I'm going to do at this point, Steve, I'm going to change presenter over to you. I'm clicking that now. So that way you can come in and analyze some markets. And Steve, I'm going to put my mic on mute while you go through yep. three or four markets, and then I'll take it back from you when you're done. Great, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to pick, uh, we're going to do a few markets like we do each day with a recap. Uh, we do maybe about a dozen or so every day of the major markets. And then we will do what looks like the triple Qs as one of the requested markets. And there's some other requested markets I'll do after I turn back over to Paul and he turns back over to me. So, and again, as Paul mentioned, um, and I'll look at the Dow in a minute. Remember, even if you don't trade these markets, whether it's market um, suggestion, a trade suggestion, or a recap or strategy request where you ask us for a market of your choice, even if you don't trade any of these, everything we do on the analysis, you can apply in your market in pretty much in any time frame. As he mentioned, we have students in 85 countries, so these are obviously applicable, these strategies, these insights are uh, applicable anywhere any uh, in any more Steve I just lost audio from you I cannot hear yeah, you sorry there we go no, yeah <laughs> one of my favorite and the dad one of my favorite strategies is uh, looking at what I call a change of polarity we have prior support becoming resistance now a lot of nuances, obviously, we don't have time to get into today. We spend quite a bit of time with these nuances during the recap to make sure uh, you understand why we're looking for support or resistance or turning signals. But essentially, uh, potential support tested at least twice, one, tw two times, often becomes resistance. And there's a lot of sound psychological reasons. Anybody who bought here or here or even here, once the market got down here and here, Anybody who bought at this support area is obviously losing money, and if it gets to about break even, the buyers here and here may become sellers to break even because wouldn't you be thrilled to break even if you're buying it here, be in pain here, and then over here? So we can see how well this strategy often unfolds, and that's what's unfolding now. So we have our first resistance area right over here. Uh, and this is not quite a bullish engulfing pattern. A tr tr traditional bullish engulfing pattern is when a green real body wraps around the whole red real body, but this is very close. More importantly, this green candle closed above a falling window. In theory, a falling window is resistance. On the close above it, this resistance area was broken. It changed the short-term trend to positive, and that's what's unfolding. And obviously, if we get above this resistance area, then we're looking at the highs right over here tested like three consecutive sessions okay we'll look at the s p that was the dow okay s p very interesting similar situation note short-term trend is obviously up the falling window over here uh market got above it so that changed the trend to positive here i'll show you a really nice example this is why i like this so much this change of polarity and once again there's some nuances and once you become a member of my cc You'll, you'll understand these nuances. Uh, but here, see this old resistance? Resistance, resistance, look, it got above it like magic. See what became support? This whole zone here. And it was tested again. Now, even though the support was tested, we really couldn't turn short-term bullish yet. You know, yes, we could say, okay, the downtrend is holding support, but what would keep us from turning bullish? What did I just point out here uh, a, couple of min a couple of seconds ago? Why can't we be outright bullish yet, even though there's a test of support? All right, the falling window. That's a potential resistance area. Once it got above it, uh, the market turned positive. And now we're looking um, at, at least I'm looking at resistance. And obviously when we talk about support and resistance, they're all potential resistance areas or support areas. Major highs here. I really don't see anything of any consequence in the S&P right over here. So from a little longer term perspective, we're looking at key support here and longer term resistance here with the short term trend obviously up. Now we'll look at uh, 
I'm going to look at, um, let me do a triple Q's here because we've got a request and then I'm going to show you an overseas market. And again, even if you don't trade the Q's, these strategies are valid. Okay, so right here, short-term trend is up. This is called a bear hot on me. It's a small real body in a big real body. It's not really a turning signal. It's just telling us that the short-term trend may be running a little out of steam, but uh, once again, there's a lot of nuances to candle signals. Yes, you can know what a bullish engulfing pattern is or a bearish engulfing pattern is, or even a bear hot on me is. You go on, on the web, and you, but you don't learn the nuances. You don't learn how to use them correctly. So although there's a bear hot on me, small real body and a big real body, a nuance. Where is a small real body within that long green real body? Is it near the middle or bottom, or is it near the high? So although this meets the definition of a bear hot on me, it to me wouldn't be as potentially, I don't want to say negative, but a, a warning as it would be if this real body was down here. Because think about it, the market closed here, and where did it close today? Right over here. If we had a bear, bear, bear hot on me where the market second real body was down here, that means the market would close here and it would close all the way down here. So again, candles, what we call candles in context. So here uh, we have, once again, a close above the window, turn the short-term trend positive. And the do now many of the candle signals become resistance. This is why it's good to know about the basic candlestick signals. The, uh, Yeah, it was just updating. I have live data, but I don't want it to update. Okay, okay so anyway, uh, doji often becomes resistance. Now, when we talk about resistance, it's really on the close. So if, although the market pushed above the highs here, you can see there's the opening. It got above the doji's high. Um, over here, it didn't close above it. It has to close above the resistance. Now, let's give an example. Uh, we get a lot of requests for overseas markets. So let me show you how applicable this is. And let me give you a, uh... okay, we're gonna look at the Nifty. All right. So on the Nifty, right over here, and we use this, uh, we happen to be using CNBC now because uh, some of these overseas markets we don't get on the platforms that I'm currently using. So look at all the support here, almost a bullish engulfing pattern. Now I mentioned before, candle signals could be used as support or resistance. This is almost a bullish engulfing pattern. I would consider it a bullish engulfing pattern. You take the lows here, look at this, another one. And actually you have a test of support here. So a solid test of support. Now something like this, now candles don't give targets. So I see something like this, I would say, if you do buy here, obviously keep the stop under the lows. Where would your target be? I would be, this to me is a box range. This is the top end of the box range. This is the bottom end. So my target would be the top end of the box range. And actually that's where I, that's where I have my next resistance area. This is called the dark cloud cover, red real body getting more than halfway into the green real body. And like magic, like I said before, many candle signals could be used as support or resistance. Look where the market stalled a couple of days later. So my resistance here in uh, the, the Nifty, uh, the index, uh, right around 18.250. And again, you know, even if you don't trade this, here you're learning about a dark cloud cover, you learned in the prior uh, market, when we we're talking about the Qs, you could use Doji as resistance. So not only is it market analysis on a particular market, but they're all educational. So I'm looking for potential resistance right around here, right around the 18.250 area. There's a rising support line right over here. So the short-term trend remains up, uh, and it's also a bull channel. There's a rising resistance line over here, and uh, the key potential support, a little longer term, is the bottom end of the box range, right over here. So looking for the top end as potential resistance, the bottom end as potential support. With the short-term trend up, this is actually an ascending triangle. You have higher lows, and you have horizontal resistance. The issue is even if it closes above the short-term resistance area of 18200, you're looking at this as key resistance. So true breakout in the uh, the Nifty would be on a close above, I would say, 18300. And speaking of ascending triangle, this brings out an important point. Everything 
you do with candles, everything you learn from us, uh, we often add Western technicals. And this means any of your favorite Western indicators you can add to candles, to candles as well. So with that, I'll turn it over, over back over to you, Paul. Thanks, Steve. All right, so Steve's gonna come back on and do a few more markets, you know, some very popular ones that we always get requested. So it'll be a little bit like a combination of a daily market recap and a strategy session, including Bitcoin. Um, you know, Bitcoin is obviously very popular with a lot of our students, including uh, a couple other markets that he'll be doing like Tesla and Meta. For those of you not up to speed on that, Meta, old Facebook. Um, so before I hand it back to Steve, I want to show you a couple other things about what my candle chart members have access to. And so if I click on special topics, notice we have two different categories. We have a recent special topic and our full list. I'm going to click on the full list and this is what our annual and our lifetime members have access to. And I know we have a couple of members already in the room right now, but what I'd like to do is just kind of highlight some of these. Now, what is a special topic? They're typically around an hour. Some of them are a little bit longer than an hour um, on one specific special topic. So real quick, just to highlight some of them, trading crypto, right? We get a lot of people that are trading crypto now. For those of you that are trading options, we have a debit spread, calendar spread, intraday options, and a credit spread. Everybody, in my opinion, needs trade management. Everybody, in my opinion, needs exit strategies, right? How many people know how to enter a trade but really don't know how to exit a trade? Let me clear that off because my drawing becomes messy. Multiple time frames. I'm a big fan of using more than one time frame. If you're just an intraday trader, things that you need to know. A whole session on Steve's trading principles, trading rules that everybody should follow. How do you incorporate moving averages into your trading with candles? How do you use pivot trading points? How to leg in and out, one of my favorites, meaning not an all in or an all out position, but to be able to add two positions. Again, these are all typically for sale but by themselves for 79 to 99 dollars but all 22 of these are included for our annual and our lifetime members also we in our bonus section we have a bonus video for people that are relatively new and want to make sure they understand candles we have that bonus video and then we have uh definitions of all of our bullish all of our bearish all of our neutral as well as a western glossary a bonus ebook to make sure that you understand how to get going, and then an options boot camp. And we put this three part series of options boot camp in for people that are new to trading options. You don't know what a call and a put or a strike price or an expiration date really are all about yet. Options boot camp will prepare you to trade options if you're not already doing so. Okay, so I really wanted to hit all of those extra special topics all of the bonus videos and information that are available to you when you become a member of mycandlecharts.com. Also, any new special topic sessions that we add in are also included. So if you do the math, 20, call it 20 special topics at the low price of $79 each, that would be $1,600 worth of special topics right there alone. These are all included in lifetime membership. Okay, so going back, I also just got a question, what is Kaizen On Demand? Kaizen On Demand is a specialized program. It would be an add-on for those people that uh, become members of my candle charts. It is a on-demand program, so there are seven uh, sessions that were pre-recorded that you can take on your own, and then at the end of it, there's actually a test that you take in order to become a Kaizen technician. What we call it, Kaizen is Japanese term for continuous improvement. So when you check out uh, and you purchase your lifetime membership of my candle charts, which I will be going into in a couple of minutes, you can add on the Kaizen on demand program. So what I'm gonna do, Steve, I know people are here to, to listen to you analyze some charts. I'm gonna give you control again so that you can come in and do Bitcoin, Meta, Tesla, 
uh, and I'm going to hand it over to you right now. Okay, let me share the screen here, trade nav. Great. Okay, thanks, Paul. Okay, so as promised, through some interesting stuff. So first we'll look at uh, Tesla. Okay, so short term, you know, the, the trend is up. And remember what I said about Windows, when, uh, Windows are one of my favorite strategies. Uh, gap, what we call in the West gaps, small window there. Now remember, a window doesn't mean, or a gap doesn't mean a gap between uh, the real bodies. It means there's no price action between in a rising window, the low here and the high here. So look how nicely this rising window held. So on a breakout, if you do buy, you keep a, you can keep a protective stop. And we spent spent a lot of time on uh, setting stops. And as Paul mentioned, people buy, but you don't know when to get out. So when we talk about bearish signals, it doesn't mean necessarily to go short, but you could use that as an indication to lighten up on longs or exit longs or move up stops, whatever. So look at the rising window, another rising window here as support. So short-term trend uh, is up and very nice bull channel. But I'll show you something interesting. Even if you trade, uh, say, Tesla or, or market uh, using normally a daily chart, what I suggest to get a little longer-term perspective is using a weekly chart. Or flip side, if you trade uh, intraday, you may want to use a daily chart to get a long, longer perspective. But look at this, which is really interesting. Hammer, hammer. Back to back hammers. Now, it doesn't mean the market's going to go up, but what these hammers are showing you is that the market got down to around 108 to maybe 105. And every time it got, by the time it got down there, it rallied to close strongly at the highs. So, uh, very strong bottoming indication, back to back hammers. And we could see uh, here, over here, a little bullish engulfing pattern. It's okay for green real body to wrap around a doji. So between the bullish engulfing pattern, the rising window, I mean, plenty of hints of a potential bottom, no top reversal signals yet. The market still is in an uptrend. So just by taking advantage of this, you know, you're looking potentially, if you did buy anywhere from 35 to uh, 30, $35 profit, uh, potential profit, uh, just by using the candle signals. So now let's look at Bitcoin. Nobody's interested in Bitcoin, right? Okay, so in Bitcoin, let me go back here. Okay, this is the daily over here. Right. Now remember, you know, uh, you get a, you get great signals. It doesn't give you the extent of the move. Okay, anybody recognize this this candle signal here? These two, the green wrapping around the red. Bullish engulfing pattern, right? Take the low of the bullish engulfing pattern, and it becomes a potential support area based on the close. And actually, what you could have done if the market, got, if you were watching this during the day, if it got down here, you could think about buying it. Uh, or actually, a better idea, a little bit of a nuance: it breaks support, gets back above the broken support area. You could buy it, and if the market gets back down under here, you know, you just light. Uh, you can get out of the long trade. But this bullish engulfing pattern, if, if you normally trade this daily and you see this, this, this is not quite a hammer of the upper shadows too long. But if you saw two things, one, a failure to hold the low, I call that a crack and snap. See the support, 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 it broke under it. In theory, this old support should be resistance, right? Change of polarity. Once it gets back above it, it's called crack and snap. The market cracks into support and snaps. And what's great about this, this is not Japanese, this is a, Western technique, I've been using Western techniques since the 70s, is your target is the most recent high. And this is a classic reversal signal, by the way, a shooting star. So the minimum target, once you had this crack and snap, was up here around 18,250. It doesn't mean you're gonna get there in two weeks, but this is how you use a combination of candles and Western technicals. And uh, look at this right now, the big rising window holding a support. Here is another rising window. We don't have a falling window yet because this trading just started. A rising window as support. And it's really impressive 
the market was holding in, considering the extent of the rally, the fact that this rising window was holding in was really, really impressive. So not surprising to see another two or 3,000 on the upside. And uh, let's see, and show you something interesting also on the weekly. Here again in Bitcoin. See, this is stuff, you knew this and you will learn, uh, this is stuff you could take advantage of every day. This is a hammer right here on weekly Bitcoin. And what was extra potent about this, one of the things we strongly recommend, if a candle signal confirms the support of resistance area, you could uh, have higher, op uh, higher chances of the market turning. A hammer confirming, this is a weekly chart, the prior week and the week uh, under, uh, the prior week, so two weeks. Wouldn't you have loved to know this stuff, you know, weeks and weeks ago? But there's always opportunities out there for you to take advantage of. And let's look at Meta. Remember, you can have us ask any markets when we do the strategy session. Okay, so in Meta, and then we'll look at Euros. Long, uh, the trend is up, classic bullish engulfing, uh, sorry, rising window, no bear signals yet. We here. And this was an important breakout. And I'll look, I'll look for resistance. Okay, for weeks, Meta, this is one of my favorite measuring techniques. What do we have here? Resistance, support. This is a, a box range, right? A lateral training environment. Look at this, resistance, resistance, and we actually we actually talk about this. A lot of the stuff I'm going over now, we talked about weeks ago uh, during the daily recap. So uh, our students had plenty of heads up about the breakout and where targets were. So once it got above here, where do you think becomes old resistance becomes new support, right? So if you buy in the breakout, you keep a protective stop under here. Uh, now we have a doji here. Why wasn't I too nervous on the doji? Because it's holding above support. If you get bearish here, let's say you sell it, what's your target? Over here. And look what happened. I would only turn negative on this doji if it got under this uh, resistance area, old resistance equals new support. Now, candles don't give targets. What can we do in Western technicals to get a target? Box range, breakout, take the height of the box, Added to the breakout point. So that's from 113 to 11 dollars, right? 113 to 124. You add 11 to 124, you get a target to 135. Now, keep in mind, targets don't mean resistance. So as soon as the market broke out here, you could actually think about buying it. Keep so let's say you buy it at 128. These are you know, obviously theoretical. You buy it at 128, you keep a protective stop under 124, so you're risking four dollars. Uh, to look to a minimum target of 135. Look how nicely that trade would have worked out. And so at 135, right over here, okay, really no bearish signals. I would have let this ride and still no bearish signals. Now, how do I get resistance from here? We'll go to weekly. Because on the daily chart, so I'd be looking longer term at resistance, potential resistance, at the change of polarity, that's all the way up at around 155. So uh, again, all these things you're gonna be learning. Uh, and we did get a request in the Euro, we do three or four Forex markets each day, and one of them is the Euro. So let me show you what I'm looking at here on the Euro, the short term trend is, uh, is mainly up. Uh, let me see if there's anything on the, Weekly, yeah, I'll go back to that. Okay, on the daily. So let me show you what's going on here. The reason I have the short term trend up, it's in a bull channel. Over here. Okay, question. Why do you think this area held its support? Yeah. 
change of polarity. Resistance, 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 got above it, held as support. So that's still, I, I'd actually make it a zone of support right over here. And as to resistance, short term, just the doji right over here. And above the 109.50 area, we go to a weekly. And if it weekly off Friday close above the 109.50, then my next potential resistance would be, the, there's a weekly, so there's like what, three out of four weeks right around the, again, change of polarity, resist, support, support becomes resistance around 115. So I just wanted to give you a brief sense of what you're going to get in the strategy session, what you're going to get with the daily recap. Again, these are only a few of the markets we do each day. So over to you, Paul. Thanks, Steve. What I'd like to do now, for those of you that are not members already, show you about a promotion that's good for today and tomorrow. And then I'll answer any questions that you have that I see a, a, a few coming in. This is our normal pricing. We offer a monthly, an annual, and a lifetime plan. Monthly means you can stay a member for as long as you would like and pay the 149 per month. We have an annual plan. And remember, with the annual and the lifetime, you get all those special topic sessions that I talked about earlier. An annual plan at 675 and the lifetime at 1275. But with this promotion, using coupon code PROFIT, you can take $20 off of your monthly membership to make it $129 per month, and you'd be locked in at that $129 per month rate. You could take $50 off the annual plan to make it $625, not only now, but for your renewal. And you could take $200 off of a lifetime to bring $1275 down to just $1075. There are people that use this and within their first week pay for an entire lifetime membership let me repeat that there are people that sign up for a lifetime membership and based on strategy sessions daily market recaps trade setup of the day special topics make all of their money back that they paid for a lifetime ownership but a lifetime ownership goes on and on and on you're going to get a new trade setup of the idea idea every day monday through friday Daily recaps, Monday through Friday. Strategy sessions, two times a week. All of those special topics that will add education, knowledge, and tools into your trading toolbox. So again, the coupon code is PROFIT. This offer is good for today. For those of you watching this live, for those of you watching a recording, we're giving it to you available until tomorrow. I would strongly suggest people usually wait until the last minute. And I don't know why you wouldn't want Steve analyzing charts for you as soon as possible. So if you go to this page and I put the link in there, candlecharts.com slash lifetime, you see a couple of great testimonials from Max and from Barry right there. Uh, I'll read it real quick. The best investment I've ever made in the market was into himself. And this one gained from lifetime membership has made paid for itself in just the first few weeks. Barry, before I joined my candle charts, I would make gains in the market and then lose them back. Sound familiar for a lot of traders, right? My trading has become more consistent with more winning trades and fewer losing ones over the past few months. This page will give you all of the information about all the sessions that are included, a listing of all of the special topics that are included, some of the bonus items, and then here are your mentors. We have Steve, as you know, as part but we also have Sil, Brian, and Tim, who are NISN certified trainers who perform and conduct various sessions. We have a lot of other testimonials at the bottom as well. So again, for those of you that are ready to make trading into something that they want to be profitable, our slogan is never trade alone. Trading can be very lonely, uh, but you're gonna have guidance, you're gonna have mentorship, you're gonna gain confidence in looking at charts, making it a simplified process, being able to look at any chart, even if it's not a market that you're not trading. I can tell you, I personally have made trades based on what other people have requested to be analyzed in strategy sessions. I'll look and if there's a great opportunity, I'm getting new thoughts, new ideas. And that's really what my candle charts is all about. Give you ideas, provide you with strategies, give you the confidence needed 
to go in and profit in the market. And that's why we're giving you this short-term opportunity to utilize the coupon code PROFIT to save money on our monthly and annual or a lifetime membership. Obviously, you guys can do the math and figure out that the lifetime ownership, especially with this offer, is gonna be more than what we call the best value. I see a couple questions coming in. Uh, yep, Bill, do me a favor, Bill, based on your question, uh, email me, paul at candlecharts.com, and I'll take care of you uh, on doing the upgrade of your membership. We can certainly take care of that for you. Uh, another question, do we work on other markets? Not sure what that means, but as you can see in uh, strategy sessions, things of that nature, you can request a market to be analyzed. We have students in India, for example, that want their India markets covered. As you saw, Steve covered one of them before. We cover cryptos, we cover Forex, we cover uh, stocks, ETFs, indexes, you name it, we cover it. If you told me five years ago, people would be trading something called Bitcoin, I probably would have laughed a little bit, but now my goodness. And if you just watch what Steve just did to analyze Bitcoin, if you were around a few weeks ago and you watched him analyze Bitcoin, you would have been able to take advantage of the incredible opportunity that Bitcoin just went through. And not to kick yourself in the butt or anything like that, but just think about how many more opportunities there will be each and every day in the trading world. Quan, yep, Quan, just send me an email, paul at candlecharts.com. Somebody else that's currently a member that wants to upgrade to Lifetime. Absolutely, just send me an email and I'll and I'll take care of that for you via email, okay? Um, special topics. Somebody asked to look at that real quick again. Now, it's on this page at candlecharts.com slash lifetime. This is the full list. Remember, annual and lifetime members get access to all of these, including the three-part options boot camp, including some of my favorites like exit strategies, Nissen trading principles, moving averages, all of these other things that will make a major impact on your trading. So if there are any other questions, by all means, let me know right now. Other than that, go to candlecharts.com slash lifetime and take full advantage. And the coupon code is right there, right when you get onto that page. And then when you check out, you'll have the opportunity to use that same coupon code, whether you go to the monthly, the annual, or the lifetime. Steve, thank you so much for taking the time tonight to uh, review some markets. And for those of you who are already members, look forward to continuing to work with you over at My Candle Charts. And for those of you who have not yet signed up, I strongly encourage you to do so. It is going to make a world of difference in how you look at charts, how confident you are in looking at any chart, any time frame. And again, we have students in 85 countries. So we help people at all levels, whether you're brand new or anybody all the way up to very high level expert. Thank you, Steve. Thank you all for taking the time and look forward to working with you over here at mycandlecharts.com. Bye for now.